Hello and welcome to Weld Fever. Uh, today what I'm going to do is talk about a couple of adapters that I made for my Dynasty 200DX uh, inverter machine. Uh, the machine is new to me and uh, I quickly discovered that uh, I needed to provide a plug for the machine which is not unique to this machine or to Miller in general. Uh, most welding machines you'll find don't come with a plug. Uh, but I wanted to do something different here because this uh, Dynasty is capable of running on both uh, regular household current, which is you know 110, 120 volts, or also it can run on uh, uh, 240, 250 volts. Uh, in addition to that, it can actually run on three-phase power as well. However, that doesn't apply to me, so um, I'm not going to get into that one. But uh, I wanted this thing to be versatile. Now here in my shop, I have a 50 amp, uh, 240 volt uh, outlet. And in fact, I have a couple of them. And so that's okay for here, but what if I take this to a buddy's house or to a job somewhere uh, at a residence, somewhere that doesn't have 240, 250 volt receptacle uh, readily available? What, what then? And what if I don't have a generator, which I don't? Uh, well, then the uh, obvious solution is to run it on household current, but if I wire this thing for 240, then I have to rewire it at another time for 120, and that's just not going to work. So the solution are these two adapters, which I created. Uh, the idea is not unique. In fact, Miller came up with this very idea for their Spectrum Plasma cutters, the 300 and 600 series. Um, I really wanted to just buy a couple of those and <laughs> throw them on this machine, but in doing research on the internet, I could not find a straight answer as to whether or not those uh, adapters, which are referred to as MVP adapters, uh, made by Miller, I uh, couldn't get a straight answer as to whether or not they'd work on any other machine other than the Spectrum Plasma machines. So I just didn't want to take the chance and I really didn't want to have to wait that long to order one and get it down here. So I went ahead and made my own. And as you can see, uh, they look very similar to, if you get a chance to take a look at those MVPs, they look very similar to uh, that those type of uh, adapters and they perform basically the same function. Bottom line is we have a twist lock uh, um, twist lock type of uh, connectors and you can see the one here that's connected to the machine there's the twist lock and it goes right that's what's directly plugged into the machine and then that twist lock then mates it's a male twist lock with these two female twist locks which are on the other ends opposite ends of the adapters okay following so far pretty simple right and then on the other end, we have two different types of plugs. One plug is a, obviously for 240, 250, uh, type of a dryer type, uh, you know, outlet. And uh, the other one is for a standard, you know, 15 amp household, typical household current, you know, 115, 110 outlet as well. So with this setup, uh, talk about versatility. So what I thought I'd do was I thought I'd briefly go over the steps I took to make these in the hopes that uh, maybe it might inspire some people or, or give some ideas as to what they can do. Um, I just want to make a disclaimer. I'm not an electrician. I'm not a licensed electrician. And it's not for me to give electrical advice. Uh, I just decided to do this uh, video because it has to do with welding and welding processes. And it seems to me like these type of situations out there that deal with how to you know, work with your machines are rarely, if ever, covered. I mean, I see a lot of welding videos out there, which I love on YouTube. And, you know, there's sometimes there's setup information and stuff like that. But this kind of little stuff is, I guess, probably pretty boring to most people. I admit it. But this is the kind of stuff that drives me crazy when I can't get an answer to it. So I'm hoping that you all benefit from this uh, and that you'll find it... For those of you that have this machine, you will find it as uh, useful as uh, any other. And by the way, it's not just for this machine. If you, if anybody out there has a machine that runs on, you know, multi-voltage or different voltage, 110 or 250, has that capability, then this type of uh, adapter would work for that as well. So 
Here we go. So if you look at the Miller Spectrum series of plasma cutters, they come with a couple of adapters. Uh, one that can be plugged into a 240 receptacle and another one that can be plugged into a 120 receptacle. This is a very convenient thing. I did a lot of research on the internet, however, and I was hoping maybe I could just purchase a couple of those and put a twist lock on the end of my dynasty and get it done that way. But apparently it's wired differently. Uh, there's an extra wire in there somehow that uh, doesn't quite work out for this. And I figured, well, it's probably going to be more trouble than it's worth, so why don't I make one? And this is what I came up with. Uh, for the end of the uh, plug here on the machine, I got a twist lock connector. And as you can see, this is a 30 amp, 250 volt. I'm saying 240, but 240, 250 interchangeably. You, I think you all know what I mean. Um, I went ahead and marked it. Uh, inside here, these prongs, one of them is marked X and one is Y. The X prong, which I believe is this one, uh, I connected the white wire to. The Y prong, which is this one, and I marked it here black, I connected the uh, black wire to. And then this one here is the ground. So this is what comes out of the machine. The next thing I did was I went ahead and I made an adapter. So these parts uh, I got very readily. They're readily available at the big box stores, if you know what I'm talking about. And here is a 30 amp, 250 volt twist lock female so that I can connect it in here. And here is a big dryer style 250 volt plug. Uh, this one is really easy to do because back here you'll see that you'll notice that it uh, it's kind of hard to see. Actually, it's on the front here. It's kind of hard to see, but it tells you here. I don't know if the camera can quite pick that up with the light, but it tells you uh, where to put your wires. Black, excuse me, white, neutral, and black. So that's easy enough. And then on this side, I did the same thing, the same connection as I did. They are also labeled X, Y, and of course the G for green or ground. And uh, I went ahead and connected these exactly like I did on the twist lock. And if you see here, these things, they made up pretty easily. Um, if I can get it in the right spot. They made up, twist them, and they're locked in. They're not going anywhere. They're nice and strong. So this is really a good thing. And now I can connect my cable up to 250 volts really conveniently. Now to further demonstrate that this actually does work you'll notice I now have it plugged into my receptacle and this is exactly the unit that uh, I just uh, showed to you the adapter and here is the unit here is the dynasty and let me move the camera angle over here and the switch for this, the power switch is actually in the rear of the machine. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And lo and behold it fires up. Now you saw it showed up 253 volts. I'm not entirely sure but I think that it's telling you that it's connected to a 250 volt receptacle. I haven't verified that with the manual yet but I'm pretty sure what that that's what it means. Uh, on my next uh, experiment uh, we'll verify that. Uh, apparently the inverter technology inside there uh, determines for you what voltage you're on and it adjusts accordingly. So there's really nothing you have to do uh, with the machine to tell it you're running 240 or, or 250, excuse me, or 120 or 110, however you, however you want to look at it. Um, and that's that. Another thing I'm going to throw into this video, maybe you can hear that hum. Yeah, I was a little bit kind of freaked out by it at first. I heard it and I said, wow, is it supposed to be making that kind of noise? I went on to uh, the Miller website and uh, got on a thread there where a lot of people discussed this very thing and apparently that is normal. Uh, it's a normal noise that the inverter makes. Uh, so there we go. So that's it for now. I'm going to uh, leave it at that. In part two, I'm actually going to show you how I made, uh, how I make the second 110, 120 volt uh, adapter. By the way, before I sign off, I just want to remind everybody that uh, I am not an electrician and uh, the purpose of this video is not to give 
electrical advice or to necessarily uh, encourage anybody to build something like this. Uh, I just happened to come up with this solution for myself and I thought other people would uh, benefit from seeing what I did. But uh, like I said, if you build one and you burn your house down, you're on your own. <laughs> Take care.